Learn. Learn to turn adversity into an advantage. Learn to turn adversity into an advantage. Because what you are going through may actually be an opportunity, may be an alarm for God calling you to draw closer to him. Turn it into an advantage. The Bible said, Apostle Paul cried unto God, God, deliver me from this trouble. <laughs> and the Bible said, God said unto him, no, manage the trouble. Hello? He cried. The Bible said, Paul cried unto him. He said, Lord, there's, this pain is too much. He described it in verse 7. He said, a messenger of Satan, a thorn in the flesh is upon my life. He prayed three times. And when God answered, God said, my grace is enough for you. In other words, manage this problem like that. Because this problem, was saying to Paul, this problem you are crying about is what is bringing my grace upon you. Sometimes we forget that it might be what you call a crisis. That is your link to God's power. He cried to God, take this problem away from me. And God said, you don't understand, Paul. My strength is made perfect in weakness. Because, Paul, if I take away this problem, you lose my strength. Some of you may not understand though. But there are examples upon examples upon examples. Many of you are in church today connected to God because of your struggles. The day you become billionaire, we may not see you in church again. The reason you are still in church, the reason you are still in church is because you are not yet rich enough. Some people will be praying, God, make me a billionaire. And you two will join them, make me a billionaire. You forget that maybe the day you become a billionaire is the day you become an unbeliever. Why do you think the most prayerful countries are the countries that are poor? Why? Why do you think so? Why do you think the people that fast and pray the most are the ones in adversity? Why? Why do you think so?